Hello everyone, I am Miss J. Welcome to another Minecraft video. And welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. Today we're going to be going over item filters, how to build them, and how exactly do they work. Now this is applicable to literally every version of Minecraft, so it doesn't matter what system you're playing on, whether you're Java or Bedrock, this is going to work for you. Now a quick disclaimer, please make sure to watch the entire video, not just because I want you to watch it, but because I want to make sure that you catch everything. I explain things in an order that doesn't actually cover everything up front and so if you listen to the very first part of it and then skip around or skip off the video you may end up missing out on some very important information that could actually save you a lot of headache so just a little bit of a demonstration what I want to do is I want to filter out my diamonds so I'm gonna put 10 diamonds in there I'm gonna put a chest but just a couple random things in there and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let them go through and then here in the end, you can see all of the non-diamonds ended up, whereas, boom, there's my 10 diamonds. Okay, so before we explain how it works, let's look at how to build it. Number one, you do not need a redstone lamp. That was my attempt to help show you guys how it worked. But because of redstone and, well, me forgetting how redstone works momentarily, it didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. So in building this, and I'll admit, I forget frequently how to build this. So I had to remember this basic shape, okay? So what you want is you want to build a T. This T will get you started. On top of your T, you're gonna put a comparator with two redstone, and in the armpit of your T, underneath your comparator, you're gonna put a redstone torch. Now then, the last two things you need to do is underneath the other armpit of your T, is going to be a repeater and then behind that you're going to have another block and you're just going to put another spot of redstone so ideally what you want is remember that your comparator is going to measure your hopper and then it's going to come down here and tell the repeater when to turn off your torch in order to let things pass through so first of all in regards to the hoppers you need to have one hopper facing into your comparator it can be facing away from the comparator it's just generally easier to face it into it and then the hopper below that that is even with the block that you're locking out with your redstone torch that one is going to be pointing into your chest now you can stack chests like this and then stack your hoppers below as well that's completely optional if you need to know more about how hoppers work I have an entire video explaining how they work what they do and how they do it now then you don't really want to be clicking on this hopper in order to add things into it so there's two different ways you can handle that one you can have a straight line of hoppers that passes over your filter hopper which is the one pointing into the comparator or you can do an item stream sort of situation which I have a video about over here so you can see right here I have an item stream and where the end chest and cake is at I have hoppers underneath and what happens is if I throw the proper item into my item stream it'll get absorbed by the appropriate hopper right here so you would want to use that or otherwise just a chain of hoppers like I have right here in order to filter out your items now once you've decided how you're going to get your items through what you need to do is go into your filter hopper that's the one pointing into your comparator and you want to put an item that will never go through your system in the last four slots I've used raw pork chops, but I'm gonna show you why even that is a bad idea in general. And then in the very first slot, you're gonna put 41 items of whatever it is that you want this exact row right here, or column rather, to filter out and go into your chest. Now you can see with the 41 items in the hopper, we're creating a signal strength of two on the redstone. What'll happen when we go up to 42 it's going to increase this redstone signal down to here. So I've broken the other parts of this so that I can show you guys how it's going to look. And here we go, we have it increase down to three. Now notice it did increase over here as well, but it cannot increase to three because it will never get large enough to travel over and then down as well. Now with it coming down to this step, we're powering this block, powering the repeater, inverting this redstone torch and powering this block. Let me go ahead and swap that out for a normal block just to avoid confusion. So with this torch inverted, this block being depowered, what then happens is your hopper that is right here and pointing into your chest will then become unlocked. 
Now, it still is locked right now, as you can see from this red tag that's right there. But if I add a couple of diamonds into it, you can see it's unlocked and the items are starting to flow in. So what happens is when this gets over 41, then the redstone inverts that torch, allowing the bottom hopper to be able to receive items until it gets down to 41. And then it turns off again, as you can see now. Now you will get one item stuck both here and as well if you have chained it down one additional spot it'll get stuck in this one as well and that is because of the way that the locking is it'll just always have one stuck in it not really anything we can do about that. So then in regards to my pork chop, let's say that a couple of pork chop do accidentally make it into my system. What's going to happen is you can see all my diamonds are disappearing and it's going below the 41 and it's not supposed to and my pork chops are filling up and going down at the same time. This is going to break my system and it's going to allow basically everything to go through until it finally reaches a balance of what normally it should have been. And you can see right here it's it's returned to the 41 and one in each of those slots basically. So then the reason you don't want that obviously is because now when I put diamonds through my diamonds are going to end up over here in the junk chest and not in here where my now pork chop is being filtered to. So the way to avoid that is take any item that you want and you're just going to rename it. Then once you've renamed the item, what you're going to do is you're going to take that and you're going to put it into slots two through four, just like so. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take those items and you're going to destroy them. And you are never, ever, never going to make them again unless you are putting them into another filter hopper. Passing them into your system is, of course, going to break it. So that's why it's important to not have any of them so they don't accidentally end up in your system. So lastly, you can, of course, make this go on for as many blocks as you want. There is no limit to it. It will work on an infinitely expandable basis. The only limitation is, of course, if you get outside of the chunk loading area. If you're outside the chunk loading area, then, you know, obviously it's not gonna work. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope that it helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, I would love to have you subscribe. But that's it for today, guys. I'm Animus J, and I'll see you next time.